Welcome back to ASVAB Roadmap. Today's video is about probability. Probability is the numerical likelihood that a particular outcome will occur. To find the probability that something is going to happen, use this formula. Probability equals number of outcomes of interest over number of possible outcomes. Probability can be expressed as a fraction, a decimal, or a percent. Probabilities are always between 0 and 1, or between 0% and 100%. A probability of 0 means that there are no outcomes of interest. A probability of 1 means that all the possible outcomes result in the outcome of interest occurring. To find the probability that both of two events will occur, find the probability that the first event occurs and multiply this by the probability that the second event occurs. The probability of two independent events both occurring will be less than the probability of either occurring by itself. When you see a probability question that deals with one event and another event both occurring, you will multiply the probabilities. So let's show an example. There are 12 books on a shelf, and 9 of them are mysteries. What is the probability of picking a mystery at random? Step 1. The question gives the total number of books and the number of mystery books. Step 2. The question asks for the probability of picking a mystery book. In other words, it asks you for the proportion of mystery books to total books. The probability equals 9 over 12, which can be simplified to 3 over 4. This probability can also be expressed as 0 0.75, or 75%. Step 4. Check that you set up and simplify the fraction appropriately. Let's do another. If there are 12 books on a shelf, and 9 of them are mysteries, what is the probability of picking a mystery book first and a non-mystery book second, if exactly two books are selected and neither of them is replaced on the shelf? Step 1. You are given the same information about the number of mystery books compared to the number of books overall. Step 2. This time, the question asks for the probability that two different events will occur. Step 3. The probability of picking a mystery book first is 9 over 12 equals 3 over 4. The probability of picking a non-mystery book second, if a mystery book is picked first, is 3 over 11. Originally, there were 9 mysteries and 3 non-mysteries. After the first mystery is selected, there are 8 mysteries and 3 non-mysteries, i.e. 11 books remaining. So the probability of picking a mystery book first and then a non-mystery book second? Step 4. Check to be sure you set up the second proportion to incorporate the missing book that was already picked. Double check your math and be sure you solve for the probability that was asked for. Alright guys, that's all for proportions. We're moving on to arithmetic word problems next. I'll see you in the next video.